So Sweet Dash has finally done it. And I'm actually really excited because I know Mike is probably going to see this video like, oh, Marie did it again. <laughs> We're going to create a booking form for the first time. And I'm so excited because I knew that this was coming, but I didn't know when it was coming. And so the first thing you want to know is that these booking forms are going to be specific for all appointment types. Appointment types are how people can reach you. And so these are gonna be your similar links like Catonly or Google appointments. That's how you will be able to send a shared link and that will be how they book. A lot of people were also concerned about how it would look and I will say this, it's beautiful. You can customize it, you can do all the things and we're gonna have fun with it. The first thing we wanna do is create an actual appointment type. The appointment type in itself would be your custom information, you want to put the public description. You want to put the um, who is going to be assigned to. There is no round robin feature. So it is just going to be one staff assigned to the actual booking link. And then you have the ability to say who gets notified when this is booked. You have some color settings. You have some visibility settings for who can see it and when. And if you save and continue, save and keep going, what happens is that you can also set the baseline availability, which then allows you to set the parameters of when this call would be available. You can preview it, of course, to see what this looks like, but you can also do a little further work of setting up the notifications. You can set the actual confirmation email, the cancellation email, the inactive email, all the things there can be set up. You also have the limited availability, you have the ability to do the baseline availability, the auto create meeting, which is the important factor here because you want it to auto generate a Zoom meeting or even a Google Meets meeting. You also want to then make sure that you save it. We're here now. So we're gonna go over to forms and we're going to get this party started. We're gonna go over to where we're going to click on the first type of form. Now, you have to remember that it is very amazing to get to the space now of seeing all these form types just fill through because oh, they all do something fantastic. But the booking form is what we're focusing on. And so that booking form is going to be the link that we're going to create for that appointment type or appointment types. All right. So we're going to call this a very clean cut. I'm going to say... Um, all calls, right? We're going to just say all calls because we're going to make it custom. And then we're going to now select all the available calls that I do have on here as activated. And then we're going to come down here. This is going to be the booking options. So the booking options are going to be the default time zone, the background color, the cover um, background cover. You can do a cover photo as well. I haven't gotten fancy all, so I didn't do this in where I'm setting up colors and all the things, but I do have some of my favorite colors. So we're gonna use my brand color here. And then we're going to not put a cover um, photo. Well, um, we're not gonna use a cover photo yet, <laughs> but we are gonna use an accent color and I'm gonna use this as the accent color. And then you do need to have a book me photo link. I don't know if I have any photos on here, y'all. So we're gonna see. I've gotten so Southern. I live in Georgia now. So it's like it natively just pops in where I can say y'all and I feel good. Um, I think, yeah, I don't have any photos in here of myself, but I do have a photo of my sister. So my sister is going to, oh, look, I have a photo of me. Yay. So this is going to be the photo that I add here. There probably are parameters, but I'm sure it's going to fill accordingly. We're going to now add the name. So I'm going to say, um, Marie's calls, or I'm going to just say Marie Lewis, <laughs> and then we're going to call it CEO button text one. We can do what it seems like as a kind of like a overall profile link. So I would say this is going to be website and we're going to just put this link here from the website. And then we're going to do another button and say Instagram. And we're going to add that link for Instagram. Do I even have an Instagram link here? I don't, but I have LinkedIn. So let's change that up. And then about section, you can title it and say about, um, I can call it about Marie or more about 
Marie. And I'll say, this is where the fun happens. Okay. And then the booking section title, I can title it to be anything I want, but I'm going to say connect with me. Now, as you all know, with any form, you have to have custom fields. And so, of course, we have the ability to do the form blocks, validation, and order. I always like putting the company first. And I also love taking out this representation or the um, subtext because it's, to me, not needed. But you have the ability to add it if you want. And then I'm going to also put the... Yeah, I'll leave everything else the way that it is. But here you can add any other CRM target fields, contact fields, company fields, custom fields, and advanced blocks. And you can see that the advanced blocks are going to be the HTML, which is going to be the place that you can embed anything, the signature block, and then the choice block. As any other form, you would still have the two classifications of an unknown target and a known target. So an unknown target, in this case, I'd want them to add as a prospect. I'd want them to be my, I'd be the coordinator. I can add them to a circle if I wanted to. And then I can simply, um, and I'm going to add them to that circle. And then I can simply go ahead and set up any different automation that I wanted to do as well as you see in any normal form. Um, and then you have the ability to send the notification when this is submitted. And you can also send them a portal invitation. And as a known contact, you have the ability to change if they're a lead to a prospect. You also have the ability to update all the other information accordingly. And then you can also come all the way down. And as you can see, you can send a email notification. So I'm in love, but it doesn't stop there. We're gonna just go ahead and hit save. Now, if you're not familiar with forms in general, to the right, there's always some other um, notif like different settings that you can toggle. You have that portal access invitation email that you can change and send. Don't look at this too hard. This is very old, very, very old. But you have the ability to customize it based on the template. And then you can go ahead and load any template that you have. You can do a conditional logic that you want to for the form basis. And then you can do the link settings, which we're gonna actually go ahead and update now. And I don't want to give you a sneak peek, but this is what it's coming together to be. And so now I want to add an alias. So this would be that connect form that you would use. Now, this is where it gets fun because what I just set up is exactly what we're utilizing. If I had a cover, it would be here. But those two websites that I just set up, you can see that that's there. The picture fits beautifully. And then you have the section with the contact with connect with me and I can select on one of the actual calls itself. And then I can simply just say, okay, now let's select a time. And you can see that that um, highlight color is so beautiful as well. The next step would be for me to put my information in. So if I'm not representing a company and if I wanted to go ahead and put all my information here, I could. And then next step is just confirmation. So it's saying, hey, you've selected this with Marie and you've also go ahead and now book it. If you wanted to, you can do the best thing of redirecting it. So you can have the, the ability to, once submitted, to disable the message and just redirect them. Or you can even style it a little bit further with some labeling, which you can see that would affect more so the form area, I believe. Yep, it affects the form area, I believe. You can do the hiding of the form template, which I absolutely would do, okay? This is my default settings. And then you can go ahead as well and you can create that direct link if your custom URL is set up. I know a lot of people have been screaming for this. And so the fact that it is here, I don't know. I think that it's been a long time coming and now people have the ability to just feel very, 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 very happy that you have a way to schedule appointments in a very clean cut way. Have fun with this, play around with it, and then enjoy it because you now have a very clean booking link that you can set out. Thank you and happy setting up.